Welcome to the video series about the STG 570 CAN and the STG 700 STEP. This tutorial series will show you how to build up a simple application with standard components from the RS Store and the Bulf Mini PLCs. I will show you how to program the controllers with the graphical programming software MyCanal and how to set up the hardware. This video series will be divided into five parts. This first part will be general introduction and I will talk about the technical details of the PLCs, SDG 570 CAN and the SDG 700 STEP and also the additional parts used for the setup. So the second part will be the experimental setup and how to assemble the parts. The third video will be about the first steps with my canal. And the fourth part we will finally program the PLC in accordance with the experimental setup. And we will see that the motor is not running smoothly. So we will fix those small errors in video 5, where I will show you how to achieve a smoother running motor. The mini PLCs developed by the German company Barth Electronic are especially small and solid, so they can be used for various automation processes and extreme ambient conditions. Both controllers have a CAN interface, analog and digital inputs, for power outputs, solid state outputs, a programmable status LED and they are both programmable with MyCanal. MyCanal is a graphical programming software which has been developed by the German company ProSign. Its user friendliness makes the programming process especially intuitive. The SDG 570CAN is an especially small, super flat and universally usable PLC. Applications for the SDG 570CAN include industrial automation, building automation, automotive and maritime technology, environmental technology as well as light and show technology. To the general digital and analog inputs and outputs, a power PWM output with 2 ampere and 1 to 10 kHz is implemented on the controller. The STG 700 step, however, adds a bipolar stepper motor output with 1.5 ampere. Applications for the STG 700 step include industrial automation, building automation, automotive technology and process control. For this experimental setup, we will also need a stepper motor, a plug-in power supply, a DC power socket, a potentiometer, a red and green LED, and a wire. Next to this tutorial, you can find links to the components, so you have all the technical data as well as order numbers of the equipment used in the video series. In the next tutorial I will show you the experimental setup and what exactly we are going to program 